Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another general read. We're going to ask the Oracle and the Tarot cards today, who is jealous of you? So if you're keen to find out who this person is, stick around, this is your reading. Uh, do keep in mind guys though, this reading is for entertainment purposes only. So with that, just take the parts that speak for you and leave the rest. And if you do find that the messages that are coming through does speak to you and it resonates, let me know by liking and or subscribing here today. And if you feel like someone needs to hear this message, by all means, feel free to share or tag them in. Um, all right. This read here is specific to all water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if that's you, then this is your read. Okay, the person who is jealous of you, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who is very beautiful, actually. This person is very attractive, very beautiful. There's something feminine about this person. Okay, um, I sense beauty when it comes to this person and this is someone who doesn't trust a lot of people. Either they're not trustworthy or they lack trust in a lot of people or they lack confidence in people. Okay, maybe this person's been let down a lot, um, maybe in love. I feel like this person who is jealous of you with the wolf energy here, I feel like they've got a lot to learn. Okay, this person's undergone a lot of lessons. Maybe they still haven't learnt their lessons. Okay, this may be someone who constantly repeats the same mistakes. Um, maybe they're jealous of you because you're someone who can lean into your mistakes, okay? And you learn from them very, this, I'm seeing the wolf here. This is like, um, an alpha energy, someone who can put their hand up and say, yep, I take accountability and responsibility for what I said. Yep. I'm sorry. I said that I shouldn't have my apologies, Okay, and that's why they're jealous because you might you're coming through with a very mature energy here who doesn't shy away or ignore the fact that maybe you did the wrong thing. Okay, and they're not like that. They wish that they could be like that, but they're not. You may be also someone who um is constantly like learning here. The wolf is like a teacher. Okay, so maybe, maybe um, they're jealous of you because you're constantly learning things in life that they wish that they could learn. Okay, but maybe they lack the ability. This person may be a teacher. Okay, this person may work with children or work as a teacher or an influencer here could be an yeah strong earth strong earth energy coming through here Taurus Virgo Capricorn <clears throat> they find you very grounded they find you very strong and grounded, but yet spiritual. Okay, like I said before, they're jealous of you because you show up very grounded and strong and sure of yourself, yet you're still doing the spiritual work. You still have this soft side to you, this kind side to you, but you also will take no shit, right? The buffalo in this deck is known as very heavenly meets earth energy. Heaven and earth meet in the middle.
could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person who is jealous of you um, is at some kind of a crossroad in their life. <clears throat> okay. Um, with the dolphin here, it could be a strong friend of yours that's jealous of you, that comes across like pleasant and nice, always happy, always positive. But it could be you. It's, it's your energy here, the dolphin. Downward pointing triangle is water. Okay, so... Maybe this is how they see you and they're jealous of that side of you. Maybe you've got friends from all walks of life, okay? Um, maybe you easily make friends or find it easy to make friends. Always positive. I see the dolphin as a very positive, optimistic kind of person. My priestess. This person keeps to themselves quite a bit. Okay, they're very secretive here. This person may know things that you don't know, but they pretend they don't know. Okay. The temperance could be could be a Sagittarian that's jealous of you. We've got the hanged man in reverse. <clears throat> the four of swords this person may currently not be talking to you i feel like this person may have recently gone silent or is withdrawing uh their energy from you here i do feel like this is someone who's constantly up in their head um This person may even have a drinking problem. Okay, temperance here. They, they may have a drinking problem. This person who is jealous of you um, finds it difficult to keep their emotions in check or their alcohol consumption in check here, but likes to think that they are. And maybe this is what they're keeping from you, okay? I feel like there's a very secretive side to this person. This person who is jealous of you with the Ace of Swords, I feel like they have a bit of a sharp tongue about them. Okay, every time they speak to you or talk to you, it's like they've got to cut you down. They've got to cut you down in some way. But remember, it's because you're constantly optimistic. Maybe they're testing you. Maybe they're testing to see how far they can take it with you. <clears throat> Three of Cups. This person who is jealous of you may be... Constantly triangulating you with other people. Oops, too many cards. Okay, so this is the kind of person who will come to you and start bitching about other people. Okay, but it's it's not really the case. They're just trying to triangulate you with that person. Or they may come to you and say, oh, so-and-so did this. But then they go back to that person and they're like, everything's fine. This person who is jealous of you with the three of cups here, this could be someone that you would consider uh, an emotional support person, like someone that you can lean on for emotional support. Maybe this is someone that you socialize with. Maybe this is someone that you drink with, that you go out and have fun with here. It could be a family member. Could be a strong Libran here with the justice card. This person who is jealous is always someone who creates problems but then 
comes in and acts like they want to fix the problem. They want to balance it out. So they come in, they stir the pot with the three cups and then the justice is, oh, look at me, I'm the peacemaker. Could be someone who sits on the fence as well. Okay, constantly they're a fence sitter. Ten of Wands. This is someone, this person who is jealous of you constantly feels burdened. Um, <clears throat> they feel like they've got the shit end of the stick all the time. You know, they're overworked, underpaid, they're tired, um, they never go on holidays, they're always doing too much for others, you know, that kind of energy. Like, you know, they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. This person who is jealous of you with the Ten of Cups here, they're jealous because you're contented and fulfilled, okay? You don't need outside influence or reassurance or validation like you sort that out yourself because you've got the ten of cups here okay um if you if you're not happy you just make yourself happy okay you don't need to rely on anybody here you just sort that within yourself for others of you, this person's jealous because you have the family, you have the children, you have the home, you have the relationship, you have the emotional support, um, you know, you're doing what you love and they, they are not. They don't exactly have what you have. Maybe you have a very supportive family and this person doesn't. They envy your family life. They envy your romantic life. We've got the pig spirit here. <clears throat> Hopefully that's in view. This person who is jealous of you doesn't tell you the truth all the time. Okay, I feel like they tell you tall tales. I feel like this is someone who bends the truth um, because they want you to feel sorry for them or they want you to look up to them or um, put them on a pedestal. I just feel like this person doesn't always tell you the truth. Elephant spirit. There's the elephant says learn from the past. See, this person does, isn't able to learn their lessons. I was saying that from, day, from the beginning of this read. This person has a hard time of learning their lesson. And they're jealous because you do. You can. <clears throat> Armadillo, this person's constantly on the back foot or defensive in some way. This person's jealous of you because you have the ability to set boundaries and they are not able to. Okay, this person lacks boundaries. This person lacks the ability to set healthy boundaries. Maybe you set really healthy, strong, solid boundaries for yourself. You know, you... But this person doesn't. They'll just give you the silent treatment. You know, they play those emotional games. So instead of opening up and talking to you in a mature fashion, um, this person who is jealous of you will just ghost you, give you the silent treatment, cold rock you, grey rock you, cold rock you. <laughs> Let's go to cold rock and get an ice cream, everybody. <laughs> This is, even with the armadillo, I'm getting, you know, the drop and roll. You know how they do that? So I get like when they're in a tough situation, this person who's jealous of you just runs from, runs from their stuff, okay? They don't take ownership. They cannot take accountability. We've even got the brown bear that says take time out. This is someone who runs and hides away. Okay, they go into their cave, they feel sorry for themselves and then they come out when they feel like it's safe or when much time has passed. 
this is someone who has no problems with like when you're hanging out with them, you're having such a good time. You know, everything appears like it's really good. We're all getting along. But then that one thing can happen because they like to stir the pot. And then you don't hear from them for like six months or three months. This is someone who, when they're in your life, it's good. But when they're out of your life, like they can stay away for a really long time. And it's because they're just jealous. of your abilities that they're still yet struggling to learn or master for themselves here. So that's all I have for you today, guys. I really do hope you found this insightful and useful in some way. And until next time, take care.